Starting your day off with a take on Vegas you won't get anywhere else. Hi, I'm Holly Madison. Hi, this is William Shatner. It is Larry the Cable Guy, and I listen. Why? Because I'm a good American. So is he. And if you don't listen to him, you need to pack up and leave this country. This is the Vegas Take with Sharp and Shapiro. Welcome all again! Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, and it's Vegas Take Time with Sharp and Shapiro. Glad you could join us. Good morning, everyone. A lot to get to. Oh, boy, do we have a lot to go over. Starting with, I guess, uh, I was at, well, I'll get to that in a second. A a, a predicament ordering food last night. Uh, A a difficult, I guess you'd call it a a tough situation. I'll I'll explain in a second. Also, want to uh, talk a little bit about a, I never thought in a million years, I never thought in a million years that Stormy Daniels would go after my mom on social media. I'll explain. She did that last night. So we'll talk about that. And uh, I'll read some of those tweets. It's very interesting. We got Mr. X, our Hollywood conservative, who will be joining us in hour number three. And Amy Vanderpool, she's a reporter for the, the BBC, Playboy magazine. And she had an article that came out that was pretty good in regards to the uh, situation that took place with Corey Lewandowski, Lewandowski yesterday. The testimony, oh my God, it was a you-know-what show yesterday. So we'll get to Amy coming up. The Las Vegas Aces last night, uh, we'll get to that as well. Yeah, that was rough, Ryan. So were you in a Postmates pickle? I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Uh, Las Vegas Aces yesterday in a really tough defeat against the Washington Mystics. Uh, Bill Beer actually was supposed to come on the show today, but they're practicing. So hopefully he'll come on with us tomorrow. But boy, what a... Weird ending to that game. It's funny because it's weird. I don't listen to a lot of talk radio, and I'm on a talk radio station, but I was listening to uh, some sports talk this morning, and I was listening to some people. That This is why I don't listen to talk radio. I literally live like two blocks from the station, and I happened to tune in, and I heard them talking about the, some people talking about the Aces game last night that clearly know nothing about the game of basketball, and they were saying that, no, it wasn't a foul, and you can't make that call at the end of the game. Anyway, we'll get to that later, but it's just like this is why I don't listen to some people in this town because they have no idea what they're talking about. We'll get to the Aces game. We'll talk a little bit about that. There's a lot of things in life I don't know a lot about, but being a, an official for 20 years, I'd like to think I know a little bit about basketball. Uh, so we'll get to that coming up later as well. Jimmy Carter making some statements saying that uh, people should be uh, presidents that are running. You can't be 80 years old to be president. We'll get to that uh, and a lot. So as I said, we have a lot to get to today, a lot to go over. So, yeah, uh, last night, real quickly, I'll tell this story. I was uh, I was pretty hungry, but I was also pretty lazy. That's usually me every day, all day long. I'm a hungry, lazy person. So I ordered some sushi online. Yes, it was uh, Postmates, J.D., what you asked me a second ago. And um, so guy shows up at my door. Everything's great. He gives me two bags of food, and I don't think anything of it. You know, I, I ordered several different things, so, so I grabbed the bags. So as I'm opening up the food, I noticed that some of it's my order and some of it's somebody else's order. He gave me, like, another order. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, I guess this is my lucky day. What do I do? Do I eat this? Do I let it sit there? So anyway, I let it sit there for, like, 10 or 15 minutes. Now, as you know, sushi gets bad after a while if you leave it out. So it's either I leave it in the fridge or I continue to eat it. So I ate my food. I'm with a friend. And she opens up the other package of food. And then we start eating the other food. I'm like, okay, it's been 15 minutes, right? So we start eating the other food. Well, about 20 minutes later, we get a knock on the door from the delivery man. I think he realized, oops, I gave him the wrong food. I opened the door and I told him, I said, listen, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. We started eating the other food because you gave it to us. And he got so angry at me. Like, how could you do that? I'm like, bro, you gave me the food. We let it sit there for 15 minutes. Do you think whichever person that you're delivering this food to would want it now? You gave it to us. And he was livid. He's like, I'm going to see if they charge you for this. I'm like, bro, I didn't make the mistake. You did. And we're getting into the weirdest conversation uh, with a delivery person I've ever gotten into in my life. Like, how many times have you ordered food and it was the wrong delivery and you're pissed off, right? You've gotten screwed a million times, right, I would imagine? 
Me? No, no. 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 I'm not it's... talking to you. I'm talking to the TV. No, you're talking to the television. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. Like, I don't think the television. No, I actually, I, I don't do a lot of Postmates myself. I like to cook. But I've been probably screwed maybe twice in the last, we'll say. You've been screwed twice? Yeah, probably. In, in your life? No, yeah, with food or something like that. Oh, oh about food. Okay. Right. Right. I, was, right. well, I, I was, we're discussing food. I was going to say, you need some dating tips right. if, if yeah, that's but, the case. No, but okay. yeah, probably, probably in the last <laughs> five to ten years. I mean, it hasn't happened. You, you really have to operate kind of questionably. To, okay, so to, I asked this I, question. I think, I think to get screwed in this situation, your order has to be really, really diverse. All right, so, you, so you, you heard my be, story. You have to be sort of difficult to deal with. I think that the people on the on the other side of the line have to have to kind of have a, a, a an inner hatred for you, so that, that, it would make sense well, that, that, that people, you've been screwed. A lot of but people I, but have I, I have not been screwed okay, but too you, many times. Okay, but you understand, you heard my story. So, I did hear it, so yes. So what do you do in that situation? If somebody gives you uh, an over order, so to speak, and they give you your food... And then they give you another person's order, which is what happened to me last night. Now, I didn't touch the food for 10 or 15 minutes. As you know, on Postmates, you, you cannot call the delivery person after delivery has been made. And I didn't get a phone call either. So what are you supposed to do in that situation? Would you eat the food or would you let it just sit there and go bad? What would you do? Well, I would definitely eat the food. Okay. Right. so All right. Thank you. So that's what I that was the answer I was looking for. So that's what, that's what I did. That's what my friend did. And then this guy. Well, especially your situation considering you know, being, being diabetic. Well, that has nothing to do with it. Well, yeah, I don't know does. why you'd bring that up. Because you were hungry. I had my food too, though. Right. Well, that has nothing to do with it. But but I started eating food, and the guy looked like he was going to strangle me. I literally shut the door and locked it because I thought the delivery guy was literally going to break into my apartment and grab the, the, the sushi with his hands. I, there was a moment there where I actually thought he was going to do that. Uh, so anyway, long story short, I said, bro, I apologize. I didn't know you were coming back. We ate partially ate part of the food and he went on his way and he was pissed he said a couple very bad words to me the way postmates works is you tip after the delivery uh and i did i did tip after i gave, I gave the guy four bucks which isn't a great tip but the food was only like fifteen dollars what am i gonna do tip the guy ten dollars on a fifteen dollar order i'm not rich i'm not sheldon adelson i can't do that i tipped the guy four dollars if I tipped him 10, I have a feeling he still would have done the same thing. So anyway, that's how my Postmates experience went last night. It was wonderful. Um, I'm getting into an argument with my delivery guy over, over food that has already been eaten. Does, does he want me to throw up and give – I mean, what does he want me to do? We ate the food, bro. You gave us the bag. And by the way, this is like the second time this has happened to me in a week where somebody makes – and I, I can't even talk about the other situation now. Trust me, in due time I will. When somebody – gives me something they shouldn't have given me, and it's not my fault, and then I'm the one that is responsible for it. It's, it's insane. Anyway, so I'm not going to be ordering food for a while. Maybe pizza. Now, I'll probably order something tonight. That's probably a lie.